Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to see layouts in Android. I am Mr. D.P. Gandmal from Valchand Institute of Technology, Solapur. I am an assistant professor in computer science and engineering department. So today in this session, we are going to see layouts in Android. So this is one of the important concepts in Android. So what we are going to see, uh, the learning outcome in this particular video will be, the students will be able to identify various types of layout in Android. And students will be able to design various types of layout in Android. So we are going to study uh, various types of layouts uh, that are present in Android. Uh, it is important because uh, various screen sizes we have. Likewise, now layouts. What is layout? Layout defines the structure for a user interface in your app, such as in an activity. Now what is activity? Activity is something we see on a mobile that is a screen. So whatever we see on a mobile, particular screen is an activity. Now, for example, in this particular mobile, we can see this uh, window, right? So this is an activity. Whenever you open an app, that particular window, screen, whichever we see, that is an activity. Now here, how layouts are defined in Android? Layouts are defined with the help of a tree structure. We have view here, we have view group. So view group and view we have here. So we will study more into it, what is view and what is view group. So let us see, a view group is an invisible container that defines the layout. So layouts are of variety of types. We will study what are the different types. So they are defined into variety of types. Now all these types are used with the help of view group, which is an invisible container. So view usually draws some something the user can see and interact with. So this layout, why layouts are important is, uh, it is not an idle component, it's an active component. UI is an idle component, whereas activity is an interactive component. So in activity, we have buttons. So when you click on a button, some action is going to happen. This is nothing but interactive way of doing with, working with your particular buttons. Now this is a hierarchy of a view group. So view group, how these layouts are structured. They are structured with the help of some classes. The like classes are view group. In view group, we have many views. So every view group can be have a child of views. So likewise, here, view group is having two views. Another view group can have another view group. Likely it's a nested call, right? So here, a view group is having three views. And here, view group is having a view group. This is a nested way of storing the uh, layouts. So a linear layout can have a, a grid layout inside it, a grid layout inside it can have a linear layout. So likewise the layouts can be arranged. So this video, uh, this particular diagram is important to understand the structure of a layout. Now declaring layouts. How you can declare a layout? There are two ways to declare a layout. One, using an XML file we have dot layout dot xml file main activity dot xml file so all your layouts are defined inside xml files so this declare ui elements in an xml so android provides a straightforward xml vocabulary that corresponds to view classes so all your buttons uh, radio button check boxes any component can be added into xml file so that particular xml file is uh, one way of putting your components on your layout Another way is you can change the layout at runtime. This is an important feature given by Android. Like uh, when I click on a button, I want a calculator to be opened. So that calculator is again a grid view. Grid view. Likewise, here layout at runtime can be done with the help of a button click or some kind of action listener. Okay, I hope you are uh, following me. Next, this is an important slide how we will define a layout. Uh, so here uh, we are first uh, dealing with linear layout. Let's take an example of linear layout. So what, how linear layout XML tag is written? This is a linear layout. And inside this linear layout, we have some attributes. These are important attributes in Android while you are writing an XML code. So attributes here is first attribute is Android. Second attribute is layout width. Third attribute is layout height and orientation. These four attributes are important in linear layout. Any layout you take, these four attributes are must. So here Android, so we will give the standard uh, library of Android, this Android will refer. Then we have layout width. So match parent is a 
uh, parameter that is used for layout width and layout height we have two types match parent and uh, uh, wrap parent uh, so we will study about match parent and wrap parent later so match parent is nothing but matching that particular component with the layout size so whatever layout size you are defining your button will fit into that particular it will match the x axis and y axis so your components will be stored vertically either you want a layout to be uh, in a vertical fashion or in a horizontal fashion that can be done by setting this orientation so you can either have vertical or horizontal then we have text view here we have taken two components text view and a button so you can have many number of components inside that particular layout okay i hope you are uh, understood this particular slide this slide is important you can just copy paste it and uh, check uh, the working of this xml file next uh, here uh, we will i'll that this will be a simple question for you people various attributes required in layout for xml code what are the different attributes required in a layout you pause the video and uh, you can revi rewind the video and give answer for this particular question so the answer for this is android layout width layout height and orientation these are the four important attributes uh, we have seen we can see that slide particular slide yes here android layout width and layout height and orientation these are the four important uh, attributes in linear layout okay then moving ahead loading an xml resource so xml resources are again uh, so we need to put it into xml file xml file is different and java file is different so whatever how we are going to refer to that xml file that xml file can be referred through java code because java is going to run execute not xml file so when you execute a java file here we have on create in on create method you will be writing super dot on create this line will come by default when you start your program second line here this line is important set content view r is a resource folder dot layout dot main layout so inside layout we have created one xml file with title main layout so you will be referring to this main layout or any other layout file if you have if you have given layout one or my layout so this particular file name will change rest r dot layout will be same is that clear so public void on create activity dot on create so on create will be called as soon as your application gets launched when you click on a particular button and that application gets launched uh, as soon as that application gets launched the particular method called as set content view gets called that's why using this set content view xml file will get started this xml file will execute and the application will be loaded onto the screen now uh, while uh, creating any component uh, the component is having an id associated with it this id is very important so either android provides this id or you can give your own id so when you drag and drop uh, from a window when i drag and drop a particular button onto my xml file this at plus id slash my button will come this plus is nothing but appending to a existing uh, component if suppose there are three buttons already and i am trying to add a fourth button this plus will add this particular button as a fourth button after three buttons okay so this plus is important here so slash my button whatever button name is there you can change this my button name in strings dot xml file then we have uh, uh, either you can reference this directly at android this is not preferable but so you can do it at android id so you are uh, adding that particular button as an id with empty uh, empty component now uh, creating views and references we have seen this code uh, initially uh, in an xml file so button when you are adding a button that button will have an id at plus as i have mentioned now this will be a plus slash my button so this my button can be changed every button is having width and height and it is having a text associated with it so width and height can be wrap content and uh, this thing so similarly my button will have uh, uh, this button is a uh, particularly access using find view by id r dot id dot my button layouts these are this is a structure which we have already seen you can pause it and see it uh, in detail there are common layouts type similarly we have uh, 
linear layout only that particular tag will change if we have seen linear layout relative layout relative layout in linear layout all the components will be arranged in a vertical or an horizontal manner in relative layout the component can be arranged anywhere it can be either to left to the right to the above or below web view uh, web view is a standard format you can refer it then we have list view it will come as a list a drop down list list 1 list 2 list 3 it will be a list view you cannot alter it and a grid view so according to the concept you can uh, select the layout in grid view we can go for a calculator mostly calculator is used in grid view so you can use it so just that particular tag name will change other rest all components will be same so these are some of the references which i have used uh, the standard references uh, i suggest you to go to this websites and this book it is very helpful Thank you.